Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another episode of Toy Hacks Flashbacks, my series where I restore or update Generation 1 figures thanks to Toy Hacks decals and some of the tips and tricks I've learned over the years restoring Generation 1 bots. And the bot I'm restoring in this video is 1987's Generation 1 Fast Track. Now this figure is getting more of an update other than a complete restoration thanks to a brand new decal set from ToyHacks.com. And this is a decal set that I have looked forward to for years. Ever since I got the upgrade set for Full Tilt, Scamper, and six gun. I've always been amazed of how good Toy Hacks can make these plain looking generation one figures. And I always wanted a set for fast track here. Now this is my original fast track. And as you can see, he does have some decals and these are Toy Hacks decals, but these are scraps. I kind of made this upgrade set myself years ago, but now Toy Hacks has an official decal set, which is Convenient since I just got a brand new fast track body. My original fast track had an accident during the filming of my Generation 1 Scorponok review a few years ago. So he broke right here at the bottom and I had to get a new one and finally broke down a couple weeks ago and bought one. So now without further ado, let's see what Toy Hacks can do to this vintage Generation 1 figure. And welcome to Toy Hacks Flashbacks. Can't stop this feeling of the 80s For me the dream still lives on Wow There's really not that much to say about the original Generation 1 Fast Track. When you first got this figure out of the package with your Generation 1 Scorponok, you were greeted with a very plain looking robot that came in five pieces. The two arms were separate from the body along with the two pistols. Taking a closer look at the original figure, as you can see, no paint applications whatsoever, nor decals. He came with no decals. What you see is what you get with Fast Track. Lots of nice molded details, but he really could use some collaring. Now taking a look at mine, like I said, I upgraded mine with some Toy Hack scraps. I took a little red scrap right there, made him a visor, some Decepticon logos, some grids up there on the chest, a crotch piece, and a black strip right there between the legs because, as you can see here, the legs were just one solid piece. So I wanted to give that illusion of two different legs. And then his vehicle mode, very, very simple. You fold the feet down, fold the body over like so. And then what you would do is attach the arms. Actually, just bring the arms up because they're still going to hold on to the guns. And then you have this little tank thing. So you can still see the Decepticon logos right there. Now on my scrap version, be careful with that right here is where I broke it. You can see the super glue holding that together. But when I fold this one over, I did give him a windshield of some sort and another Decepticon logo right there. That sticker is coming off. So that's pretty much it for Fast Track. I really can't wait to see what Toy Hacks does for this guy. I've always liked the figure, mainly because he came with Scorponok, and I think the robot mode does look pretty cool. He's kind of intimidating looking. I always just... I dug that for some reason. He's got the horns there on the helmet, the visor and everything. But uh, I guess let's take a look at what he's going to look like when Toy Hacks is done with him. And the Toy Hacks set you get with the Generation 1 Fast Track upgrade is you get one decal sheet on foil backing. And there is some options. I've got a silver visor or a red visor. And I think I'm going to go with red because I like the evil look. And then you get a vinyl decal sheet. And it looks like uh, I'm getting a decal kind of like my scrap. There's a long black strip that I believe is going to be a decal that goes right there for the legs. Now, as far as restorations, since uh, 
This is a brand new, well not brand new, but it's a very well taken care of Generation 1 Fast Track body. There's really nothing to go over or nothing clean. I just need to take these Decepticon logos off the original arm so I can trade them out. So I am going to scrape those off using just my thumbnail. That came off really easy. We'll get the other one here. And there we go. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take these downstairs to the kitchen, get some goo gone, and get that adhesive off. Then we'll apply the decals and see how good the Generation 1 Fast Track looks after the Toy Hacks upgrades. And you always get that one decal that's stuck on your finger. Now that's what I'm talking about. Fast Track looks amazing. I know there are some Generation 1 purists that would really frown upon putting upgrade decals on a vintage Generation 1 toy, but you know, this is my figure in my collection, and I think this is really going to add to my display. That being said, let's take a look at the new decals Fast Track gets. The first one you're probably noticing is the new red visor that he has. As I said earlier, you have an option. You can get a silver visor or the red. There's also a decal right there for the crest on his uh, helmet. That's a chrome decal. There's an option for kind of a blue looking one. It looks like the blue right there on his shoulder. And you can see he's got new chrome Decepticon emblems there on his shoulders. New decals right there on the chest. Chrome abs down here on the legs. He gets these black decals with blue stripes. Moving down the legs, I really like this. He's got silver decals with kind of purple highlights. That looks really, really good. And just like my scrap scrap decal fast track, he gets a black decal right down the middle of the legs, and it continues on to the toes. So it really separates the legs right there. Now let's go ahead and get him transformed into a vehicle mode. We'll go ahead and flip the arms up and throw the weapons around. Fold the feet down. Let's see. Go ahead and take that off and we'll throw pieces everywhere. Get him back put together. Good old Generation 1 parts former right here. All right. So now there he is in vehicle mode. And <laughs> really, really vast improvement. He's got a brand new blue canopy up here on top. New decals right there on the back of the vehicle. Of course, you see the decals from the arms carry over. I also forgot to show the black stripes that go all the way around the arms. It really breaks those up. Down on the front of the vehicle, he gets new red decals right there on the tips of his cannons. There were extras, so I added those to the tips of his weapons as well. And here on the front, he's kind of got a bumper now with some lights. And on the back of the vehicle, he's got tail lights. So a definite vast improvement. So let me go ahead and get him transformed back into vehicle mode, or excuse me, robot mode. I can talk pretty good until I start filming. Now these weapons right here, these are repros. I do not have the original fast track weapons. I've been on the hunt for those for years, but you can never find them cheap. I think every time I find a couple of them, they're about 60 bucks and that's way more than I'm willing to spend just yet. So let's take a look at the Toy Hacks Enhanced Fast Track with the Toy Hacks Enhanced Full Tilt. Full Tilt was another very plain looking transformer. And once again, thanks to Toy Hacks, a vast improvement. And here he is with my Scrap Fast Track. Also, a vast improvement. If you're a G1 collector and don't mind adding new decals to a vintage toy, I highly recommend this set of decals for Fast Track. It's a vast improvement to how he looked before, so plain and unloved. And Toy Hacks really knocked it out of the park with this guy. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah! Can't stop this feeling!